Hey guys, what is up? This is Matthew Day me once again, and welcome to another cooking video. I actually haven't done another one of these in two years. Last time I did the Bob's Burgers uh, recipe preparation for the movie, which didn't come out until three weeks after that video was posted, but I wanted to make another one. You may know me for doing reviews on video games and movies and occasionally do monthly vlogs once a month. I mean, obviously. I wanted to do some more videos that aren't just about reviewing movies and stuff. Now, don't worry, I'm always gonna do that. I'm not sure if I'm gonna upload this before or after I see If, which I'm gonna be seeing tonight as I'm making this video. But yeah, I wanted to make another uh, cooking video, and if I'm gonna do one, why not do one on everybody's favorite Australian-themed show, Bluey? And yes, I know. It, it has been too long since I made another Bluey themed video, which is basically just an update on uh, my Bluey collection. Instead of it being a collection, it's a Bluey themed room. But I couldn't resist. I wanted to make another Bluey themed video, so I'm going to do a Bluey themed cooking video with some help from this right here, Bluey and Bingo's Fancy Restaurant Cookbook, and I have a little partner with me right here. I said before that I wasn't really going to get the, you know, the multiple, well, Y you know, you know, if you saw my Blue Room tour, you know exactly what I mean. But, you know, it's perfect for this video. Now, originally, I was going to make the pavlova, and I actually did uh, film myself making the pavlova. I had most of the ingredients, well, sort of all the ingredients, and, uh, well, this is how it turned out. That's it. I give up. I give up. Yeah, I was just like Bandit in that one episode, except I didn't do anything to resolve it. I just got super mad and, <laughs> okay, it, it was mostly my fault, mainly due to the fact that the sugar I used wasn't the right sugar. Apparently the sugar I was supposed to use isn't even available in America. God, why does Australia have to have the best things? I mean, they gave us the best horror movie of last year, which was made by YouTubers. I really shouldn't mention a horror movie when I'm talking about Bluey here, but, you know, I was all like, you know what, I'm, I'll make something else. I'll make something that I actually have made in this book before. I just wanted to make something a little bit, you know, less basic. I could have made a duck cake, but that's not in this book. And they do have a recipe on the official Bluey page, but that takes forever. And I'm worried I'm going to screw that up as well. So I figure, why not make a smaller cake, a much easier cake to make? which is the Shadowland Cupcakes, which are basically like your regular, normal, everyday cupcakes, but there's a big twist. It's Shadowland Cupcakes, and all this stuff is completely homemade. And I have made it before, along with the spring rolls, which I also might try and do sometime. But you know, I really wanted to make another cooking video, and I wanted to do one with Bluey. I was just thinking to myself, You know what, I want to make another Bluey themed video. Yeah, because I've really fallen in love with this show, and I adore the show, so why not do more Bluey themed videos? Don't worry, I'm still going to continue doing movie reviews, it's just, yeah, this, this show isn't going to take over my channel, I'm not going to do like Bluey theory videos or anything like that because I'm sure I'll be really bad at explaining things. There exist other Bluey themed YouTube channels that are really good at that, so I'll just leave them to do it. Great channels, by the way. But, um, yeah, anyways, without further ado, um, let's get into the Shadowland Cupcakes. So, here's what you're gonna need. You're gonna need a half a cup of butter, uh, which is uh, softened, which I already did, uh, two eggs, a half cup of milk, uh, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, uh, one three-fourth cups of self-rising flour, sifted, three-fourth cups of granulated sugar. For the icing, you'll need two tablespoons of butter, softened, one and a half tablespoons of milk, one and a half cups of powdered sugar, a blue food coloring, and sprinkles, plus paper cupcake liners and a cupcake tin. So originally, I didn't have a cupcake tin. I literally bought one from the store just for this video, but who knows, maybe next time I'll make muffins. <laughs> Next up, it says you wanna um, bake for or at um, 350 degrees. So we'll let that preheat. Yeah, I know, I'm making cupcakes at 9.30 in the morning, but you know, it is what it is. Plus I got a movie to see later, so I don't know how long this is gonna take. 
Shouldn't take too long. I hope. All right, next up. Uh, um, this is the best mixing bowl that I got. So yeah, anyways, uh, make sure your butter is softened. Uh, like it's a, like I said before, either a stick of butter or a half a cup. So here's half a cup. Oh, that came out uh, better than I thought. Then you want to crack two eggs in. And then the milk. One tablespoon of vanilla extract. It's kind of a bad idea to put this over the milk, but yeah. There we go. Oh, oh. Yeah, just in case, because I didn't have the... Yeah. This is a special type of spoon that uh, lets you, uh, you know, make the measuring thing without having to use multiple different ones, so that's helpful. It says to use a wooden spoon, but it didn't say anything about a wooden spoon, so hopefully a metal spoon will work. All right, so we're gonna add the flour with batches or in batches. So um, here's the first cup. It says um, um, one cup and three fourths. One cup, three fourths. So yeah, here's the first batch. Yeah, put it in batches. So just gotta make sure. Turns out nice and smooth. Yeah, I wonder if it's easier to use a whisk. That's on my shoe. Alright. Alright, so that was three fourths. It's starting to look pretty smooth if I say if I do say so myself. Alright, uh, so next we do the same thing for the sugar, which is three fourths. One fourth of sugar. Alright, because we want these to be sweet as a bingo. And finally, the last fourth, just three fourths. All right, that should be smooth enough. Yeah, that's very smooth indeed. I'm just following the rules of the book here. Because, uh, why do I have to follow the rule? Because the book says it's more fun. The rules are more fun, just like the message in the episode Shadowlands. Next, you want to put the batter in evenly for each cupcake. Yeah, I think it might be best to do the rest of this off camera. All right, so um, I feel like um, some of these aren't fully even out, but it's self-rising, so I'm, I'm sure it'll be fine. All right, so we just put these in the oven, and oh, I forgot about those. Let me get those out. All right, now we can put these in the oven. I know I should really be using a mitt, but I'll use a mitt once I get them out, so. Next, uh, you want to put them on for 15 to 20 minutes, but I feel like um, it's easier just for 20 minutes, just to be, just, just, just in case, so, yeah. Um, all right, so where's that oven light? Here it is, so we could watch them, uh, watch them bake. Though we can't do that because we have to do the next thing. Because next up, we gotta make the icing. I could wait until the cupcakes are done before making the icing. That way I can just put them on immediately because obviously they gotta cool down first. But I don't know, I just wanna make the icing uh, 
just to get it over with, just in case I mess it up. But yeah, what you're gonna want, you're gonna want some powdered sugar. And uh, yeah, you're gonna need a, a cup and a half of powdered sugar, so let's get that. Here's one cup, and here's half a cup. I was always curious how you made frosting. Like, it honestly looks very trifical to make, if you know what I mean. Yeah, only True Bluey fans will understand that, but I'm sure True Bluey fans are watching. Next, you're gonna need uh, one and a half uh, tablespoons of milk. Here's a full tablespoon and half a tablespoon. All right, and then we're gonna want two softened uh, tablespoons of butter. There we go. Okay, and then we stir it up. I'll use a smaller spoon this time. Now you wanna add in some blue food coloring. It doesn't really say how much you need, just um it just says how much you are how much you or yeah. It just says how much you how much ever you want. So let's do that. That looks like blue cheese now. Okay, it looks like blue cheese. Alright. Yeah, just All right, now it's forming. Okay. I recommend adding an extra tablespoon of butter just in case. So, yeah, just gonna try getting this as smooth as possible, and then once the cupcakes are cool, then, uh, yeah, we can put them on. Okay, so here's actually what I recommend. Uh, try doubling um, what the recipe says, because that's actually what I did last time, um, just so you'll have more frosting and I tried, I tried using the, you know, the regular, like, uh, not doubling, but, yeah, I feel like it's a lot, oh, that takes it I feel like it's a lot easier if you just double it, so, yeah, but, luckily, I had more than enough ingredients, so, yeah, now, it looks perfect. Alright. Okay. Oh, yeah. Come and see. Come on, let's see. All right, so the cupcakes. Yeah, I think they might be done. Though, of course, we're gonna have to wait. Uh, wait for them to cool a little bit before we start decorating. In the meantime, I have a huge mess to clean. So I'll take care of that. Yeah, and Lecter over here is gonna have fun watching me clean it up. Also, here's the sugar on my shoe. Yeah, I was not joking about that. Hey, look on the bright side. At least it's not pee. <laughs> All right, so we got the icing, and we got the sprinkles. The cupcakes are cool enough. Now uh, let's decorate them. I could just, you know, the way the cupcakes look in the um, in the picture makes it look like it's just a little dab in the middle. But I don't care how much I put on here, so <sighs> could cover it up all, which is what I did last time. But it doesn't matter. I can make them look as good as I want them to. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait till I'm done with these. Alrighty, they're all nice and iced. Just one thing left to add. And that is, of course, the sprinkles. Oops. Okay, this isn't going well. Uh, I'll, uh, yeah, I'll just, I'll just cut again. All right, now after all that mess, after all that struggling, I think they are done. Yeah, I know, it was a lot harder to get the sprinkles on, but, um, yeah. Now would be the part where I taste test these, but I'm actually gonna wait and eat lunch first because I don't want to spoil my meal. So, yeah, just give me like an hour or two, and yeah, we'll taste test one of these. 
All right, so I had my lunch. I also went to the gym for a little bit to burn off those calories before eating this because, you know, I try to stay careful with what I eat. But anyways, uh, now that it's officially done, let's try this. I really hope this is as good as last time I made them. Yep, yeah, that did not disappoint. When I was really young, I did make a cake before, but it did not taste as good as this. Mainly because I feel like I used a little too much flour. But still, it's amazing how cake recipes, they're, it's really hard to make them from scratch, at least from my point of view. But Bluey really knows how to get people to make good cupcakes. So yeah, I highly recommend this. So um, hopefully you follow this video well. But, you know, just let me know what you think. Um, but yeah, anyways, uh, I might make another cooking video. It won't be for a while, though. But yeah, I really want to try making the spring rolls because the spring rolls, they're a little bit difficult, if you know what I mean, <laughs> again. But yeah, I made them before, so yeah. But anyways, uh, my mom's going to be coming over. I'll bring some for her as a late Mother's Day gift. So yeah, I got plenty to give here. So yeah, but anyways, um, thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, yes, I'll continue making reviews. Do not worry. This, well, I already mentioned it before. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Word out.